OP stands for if you give a child an opportunity, it presents them with endless possibilities. I started taking my kids to camp 14 years ago. It was my second year of teaching. And I went to camp as a fourth grader and I thought that it would be a great opportunity for my kids regardless of their financial situation. I met uh, Julie Beatty maybe 15 years ago. Uh, I saw a small article in the newspaper uh, that was describing her wanting to initiate Camp Op and her idea to help her school kids. So we sat down with her and talked to her over lunch about how we could grow the organization, maybe spread it out to kids beyond just in her classroom. Julie has brought it from just a couple of schools going to, I don't know how many have gone this year, but every year she just, she just grows it and she's trying to reach as many uh, kids as she can. You got it! Our kids are urban, they live in the city, they don't have a lot of grass, a lot of these same opportunities, um, but then when we get out here, um, they might uncover a hidden talent or they might overcome a fear that they've had for several years. The thing that strikes me the most is how, how the kids just are just kids when they're here. A lot of times at, in their neighborhoods and, and in their homes it's a little stressful and they come out here and they're able to just relax and enjoy themselves and learn so much from the activities that they do at this camp. I like it because you get to have fun, you get to sleep in nature, and you get to go swimming and eat food. It's just fun being a kid again, exposing them to activities that maybe they've never experienced and that I've had the privilege and the pleasure of having in my childhood. Um, so I get to see life through their eyes and maybe they can see some of the joy that we as counselors have had and can bring to their life. If I was at home, I would be playing video games, but now that I'm out here, I'm learning all new things in nature. So there's some kids that come to camp I'm a little worried about, to be honest, and they, because they've just, sometimes they struggle in the classroom, even socially and academically, and then I'm like, I don't know how they're gonna be at camp, but then they get out here and they just have a sense of confidence about them. It opens their eyes to the possibilities of what's out there. I so wanna go fishing, I so wanna go canoeing. We have grown so much since our first year of camp. We didn't really know what we were doing when we got into this, and we didn't really know what it would be like taking um, 60 kids to camp that have never been outside of their neighborhood. And then fast forward 14 years later, now I, we're confident and we are not only impacting my students, but we're also impacting several hundred students around the city of Indianapolis. There you go. We've now expanded instead of just having a three day, two night trip here in the spring that we've had a full day in the fall to get the kids used to it and anticipating what's happening. Around a thousand lives have been touched so far in the 14 years. It, it's life changing for these kids. Um, you know, these kids are, are so beyond their comfort zone when they start. And as the model Camp Op suggests, opportunities present possibilities. We want you to give us the opportunities so that we can use uh, your donations, your in-kind contributions in a good way, in a generous way, in an efficient way, and give these kids the possibilities that they otherwise wouldn't have. And that can only come from multiple donors, small donors, large donors, but anyone who'd be interested, we'd be happy to talk to. A wonderful cause and um, to see more and more kids being able to take advantage of this is, is amazing. I'm lucky to be out here and be able to give them this opportunity. And it's because of donors and because of very generous people that believe in me. There's no place like camp. And at camp, everyone's good at something.